Ah, thanks, buddy. We're here in Burnaby at the Wildlife Rescue Association, and just before the break, we saw this little guy here, a Rufus Hummingbird. Uh, in fact, we don't know because he's so young, uh, Linda, if he's male or female yet, right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. So tell me the story about this guy. How did he come into your care? Um, a finder brought him here, so someone probably oh, found it in their backyard lying on the ground, and okay. it's actually in pretty rough shape uh, last yeah. night. Um, he was just beating his wings there, almost getting ready to take flight it seems like yeah I mean, i've seen him fly already so that's, that's so it's possible that they will like escape sometimes in here and yes to sort of yeah they do it's not it's common practice yeah uh, for us okay so you're giving him uh, you just gave him a little sugar water syringe right that's mm -hmm. correct yes. okay and that will give him all his energy that he needs to get back and rehabilitated yeah we give him other things too yeah the sugar water alone is not enough what are some other uh, feeding options for him? Just gonna weigh him now. Some other feeding options for him, we do feed him um, kind of like an executive forest mixture. Okay. Kind of water down into the syringe, we'd feed it the same way. Yeah. It's gonna provide a lot more protein and nutrients for him as well, especially when they are younger. They need a lot of that protein to grow a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, we also feed them uh, a nectar solution, which has more vitamins and minerals in there for them. So it and, offers more of a balanced diet. And that gives them their energy too, I guess. Absolutely, too. yeah. There's so many hummingbirds around and it's quite common for you uh, here at the, at the uh, Wildlife Rescue uh, Center to, to get hummingbirds? Yes, it is quite common. They are a common um, patient of ours. They do come in quite a bit, especially right now because it is baby season. So we yeah. are getting a lot of baby hummingbirds in, many for different reasons. Okay, well, we'll uh, take care of this little guy, and there's going to be uh, way more birds to come, you know, both uh, big and small. So I'm here all morning long in Burnaby. Thanks a lot. Good morning, sir. Yes, I'm in Burnaby. I have to keep it down a little as not to disturb the uh, birds in here. And coming up, we're going to be feeding one of these gulls. We're here at the Wildlife Rescue Association at the Rehab Care Center. There you go. Little baby bird, going to get some food. Coming up. Oh, that's right, buddy. I'm in Burnaby here at the Wildlife Rescue Association. Uh, Linda and Chelsea, they're going to be helping me. Well, you guys are going to be really doing it. I'm going to be talking you through it. Uh, feed this gull. And um, you just probably saw the um, gulls outside of our building uh, that are nesting on the rooftop. They're very common in this area. Many people don't realize that there are actually several species of gulls just in the lower mainland, right? That's right, yeah. Okay, and this guy's too young to be able to determine what species he is. Yeah, they kind of all look the same at this age. Right, and then that model color, it really helps them sort of camouflage like in their yeah. natural surroundings yeah they should be uh, nesting on rooftops so uh, not on rooftops but no. on rocks yeah uh, but nowadays <laughs> they are they are on rooftops well they're such urban birds they really um, adapt to the human uh, settlements everywhere right yeah uh, and this one actually got picked up by a predator we think so an, an eagle or a hawk okay um, and he got a, a laceration that we sutured the other day and Aww. he still is limping a little bit. He's on the mend. So when will he start, uh, or she, start getting that grayish-white gull plumage that we're more used to? Oh, that will start in a couple of weeks. Okay. Yeah. Now, if uh, you know, someone sees a baby bird on the ground, what should they do? What are the main things to keep in mind, first of all? Well, always assess the situation if it yeah. really needs your help. Right, because uh, some of them may not. They just may have fallen off the nest, but yes. they're okay still. Yeah, well, what, what birds do, They they're, when they're ready to leave the nest, they swoop down, yeah. but they're not able to fly yet. So they just sit there, they hop around, stretch their wings, sort of slowly learn how to fly. And if the parents are still around, then it's better to just leave them be. Um, okay. Because that's their natural behavior. Good tips. And you guys are looking for donations here as always. And berries right now for food for the birds, right? So blueberries, yes. strawberries, Yeah, any berries. berries. Blueberries are great. Okay. Um, especially the songbirds, we feed them right. uh, lots of berries. Okay. But they have to be fresh. Yes. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, no moldy, mushy ones. <laughs> okay, Michelle, what do you think? So cute, this little baby gull here. Don't oh. know what kind yet, though. We have to be very quiet. He's yeah, we do. It's hard for me. You are in heaven this morning, <laughs> Thor. This is exactly where you love to be. Oh, look at that. He's so cute. Yeah, thanks, Riaz. This morning I'm in Burnaby at the Wildlife Rescue Association. We're in the rehab center right now. And coming up, we're going to be talking about this northern flicker, one of the urban woodpeckers that you'll find all around town here. Stay with us. More to come. Yes, thanks, Riaz, and I'm in heaven here today because we're dealing with birds that need a rehabilitation. I'm in Burnaby at the uh, Wildlife Rescue Association. And Linda, what bird do we have here now? This is a northern flicker, okay. very common in this area. Yeah, northern flicker. So it's the uh, sort of urban woodpecker, the very common one that you'll see around yeah. here, right? Yeah. Okay, what happened to this guy? So um, he came in as a fledgling, so not able to feed itself or fly mm -hmm. yet. Uh, but he was um, kind of slow, quiet... Um, so we, we think he might have had a concussion or something, okay. like hit something or, or fell down. Um, so and you why. see Chelsea there spreading the wings and they have this beautiful um, sort of 
yeah, red and orangey coloration mm -hmm. on, on the other side of their wings as well, yeah. right? Yeah, very pretty. Yeah, they have a very nice pattern. And you can tell it's a male because um, this guy has the red on his um On his cheeks? On his yeah. cheek, yeah. 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 So they develop that quite early on when they uh, get their feathers. And a lot of times people see flickers um, banging on uh, metal poles and they think, oh, the, you know, he must think it's wood, but they actually aren't really doing that to get food, are they? No, no, they are trying to make noise and they right. like to do that early in the morning. <laughs> trying to attract a mate. Yeah, attract a mate or tell other males to, to get lost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just to, to tell the world I'm here, and it must be very um, you know difficult to sort of handle the birds on a daily basis because they're naturally going to fight it, right? And you can see them pecking a little bit there. So, yeah. w what are the steps to make sure that they stay calm and that it's all done safely? Well, you see that there's a towel, so we always wrap them in a towel yeah. and keep the heads covered so they don't see us. Um, when we do an <laughs> exam, of obviously, or need to feed them, we take it off. Yeah. Um, and we always watch them how their behavior is. If it really starts freaking out or yeah. panting, right. Then we'll, we'll take it away and, and put it back in the cage. So the um, panting is sort of a, an anxious sign that yeah. they're, they're really having too yeah. much of it? Yeah. And, uh, and they can get so stressed out that they can have a heart attack, for instance. So wow. it is something to really be careful about. Okay. Um, Thanks. Other signs of stress is not eating, yeah. um, not moving around, not flying. So mm -hmm. dealing with wildlife is very different than dealing with pets. All right. I'm learning so much and having a blast here. I'm in Burnaby at the Wildlife Rescue Association. We've got more great stuff to come. Yeah, wildlife um, uh, the, and <laughs> rescue care center. Yes, okay. thank you. In Burnaby here. And there's all the pens here. We have the birds. And then this is the duck pond as well, right? Yes. The duck pen. And we'll just get Nelson to get a shot in there. We don't want to go in and disturb the ducks, but um, describe the situation in there. It's a nice little habitat for them, right? Yeah, we just get them ready for release. Uh, these are pretty small still. So there's several families together. So there's a couple of siblings and we put them all together yeah. uh, to form one nice group. And they do everything together. So now they have a little rest moment. Uh, uh. They usually go for lots of swimming. You can see the lettuce that they eat uh, together with some uh, grains. Yeah. And even if they're not part of the same family necessarily, they will sort of all uh, bunch up together. And yeah, if you if you put them together young enough, they yeah. will. Okay. Yeah. All right. We got a couple of um, more things to show you guys here, but we're here all morning long in Burnaby, and we're uh, helping out all these animals get rehabilitated. Uh, Riaz, yes, I'm at the uh, Wildlife Rescue Association, their rehab center. Cool stuff here. Thanks for the UC Wildlife uh, Rescue .ca, the uh, website to find out more. Thor. Okay, I think we are. We're here in Burnaby at the Wildlife Rescue Association, and we're going to be uh, looking at some house finches when we come back. We're going to be uh, helping those guys. Yes, they're bringing them in right now, our little bucket of house, finch house finches. We won't let you see them just yet. you got to stick around. All that and more. We're at the Wildlife Rescue Association. The ladies have been so good. What are we showing them in the next one? So we have a tree swallow over here. Okay. And American robins. American robins. Now, yeah. should we do the robins first? Sure. Maybe? Okay. Sure. The robins, get a load of these guys. They are tiny. Now, this is basically, how old are these robins? A couple of days or weeks old? A couple of days. Even these guys are called nestlings. Okay. So you can tell because they don't have a lot of the feathers Look grown on them. So and at this point, all they really know is to open their mouths and beg for food. Instinctive, yeah. yeah. And it takes a lot of energy for them to do this. So as you can see, they give up quite easily. They have to get that strength again. And oh, there wow. we go. Wow. And that's yeah. called gaping when they do that. That's called a gape. OK. And every time I feed them, it's called a bite as well. Right. And I mean, you take donations here in cash, and you know, we talked earlier about how berries are very good right now for food mm -hmm. for the birds, right? What will people do? What, what are the best things to do if they do see a bird that seems to be in distress? Can they bring them in here? Yeah, they can bring them here themselves, put it in a cardboard box. You can like put a little towel over them to, to calm them down and yeah. then quickly scoop them up and put them in a box. Okay. Uh, don't try to feed them. No. Um, especially when they're injured, they, they won't eat anyway. Yeah, and that's really important. The food here is very specialized. You Exactly. have your own magic formula so don't try it at home can we do the uh, tree swallow very yeah. quickly mm -hmm. usually guys the tree swallows um, at home if you're curious um, you never really see them sitting down or, or you know they may sit on power lines but they're usually flying around right they're quite active yes Yes, they're more of a flight bird. As yeah. I see, he doesn't want to gape because there's so many people. Here. Okay, he's a little Stage, shy. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I'll just. Give but him he's a just wait. a little guy too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, he would be in the nest still. Okay, Riaz, I may have to stick around here and volunteer because I've had such a great time and they do wonderful work here. Check them out on the website, uh, but they're doing amazing things here at the Wild Wildlife Rescue Association in Burnaby.